and on today's video i want to share with you on how to get back the lost confirmation number as we all know that today is the end or is the last day for the application of the dv 2023 and some of you have already successful do your applications but you have lost your confirmation number and you are asking yourself that what can i do to get my confirmation number don't worry this video will show you how to get your lost confirmation numbers so don't forget to subscribe like and share the video to other so that they can understand or learning through this video on how to get back your lost confirmation number as you can see i am already on the official website of the u.s department of state through the entrance status check in order to check your status if you have been selected when the results came out in may 2022 for you to see or to check if you have been selected or winning the dv rotary or the dv program what you need to do is to go through the entrant status check as you can see here the entrant status check for you to see or to obtain the results of dv 2023 so it says that please be sure to have the entrant confirmation number last family name and year of birth to check the entrant uh, status online so it came to your attention that you don't have the confirmation number so how will you going to get back the lost confirmation number so stay until the end of this video so that you can know how to get your lost confirmation number so let's go to the entrant status check to access the entrant information in order to get the lost confirmation number as you can see in order to check your that what you need to do first is to put your confirmation number but unfortunately you have lost your confirmation number but don't worry below here there is a statement says forgot confirmation number this part here so what you need to do is to click that part forgot confirmation number and this part will come to verify your entrant information so as to retrieve your confirmation number so the first things that you need to uh, to submit or to put is names so you will require to put your last family name so for example this person his last name is wazoba you see and the uh, first name of this person is peter and the middle name of this person is paul you see that is the name of the person and other things that you need to put is your date of birth so the date of birth of this person is month it was in september he was born in september september 12 1980 then what follow you will require to put or to enter your email address on the part four so here you require to put your address email address and this email address make sure you have access with this email address for the purpose that after submitting this 
form they will send the email with your confirmation number so if you don't have access with this email it will not be easy for you to access or to get back your lost confirmation number so here put the email that you have access with it says provide the email address used on the electronic diversity visa entrant form so here put the email exact as you put in your visa entry form you have made your application and you during that application you have put an email address so use the same email address to put in uh, to uh, to indicate here on the this part so that you can be able to access your confirmation number so let's say the uh, email address of this person is wazoba peter at gmail at gmail.com maybe this is the email address of this person the last thing is to put the authentication code the authentication code here is m3e m3e 8st you see there was a problem here please put the valid email address oh i forget to put the at star so this was over peter so that is the email address so let's put the authentication code the authentication code is m3 e h s t then after putting the authentication code what you require to do is to click submit after submission of that eh, after submission you will receive an email you will receive an email which contain your lost confirmation number so it is easy like that don't complicate things things that you will be required to put is your names your date of birth your email address as you used during electronic diversity visa entry form and lastly the authentication code then you will click submit and your confirmation number will be sent to you via your email address thank you don't forget to like the video share and subscribe to my youtube channel so that i can continue sharing the information concerning the diversity visa program thank you so much